all right guys here we are doing an unboxing of these 19 tees we got you might be asking what is that that looks like a, the 17 tees you had on the car and so does that i'm not sure who it's going to upload first but anyways i tried to rebuild these because these were leaking 30,000 miles and the 17 tees were leaking they were not too bad but it was leaking through uh this seal right here so all this was covered in oil like a ridiculous amount of oil um, so I tried rebuilding them. I, I couldn't rebuild them because these, I guess, are some Chinese knockoff something where they take half TDO3 parts and half TDO4 parts. So cannot do that. Anyways, this is the new one. So instead of rebuilding them, we just decided to go with some new, new ones. And uh, here they are. Well, here's one of them. Um low-key i want to take this apart just to see if it has upgraded components in there all right so here are obviously the new turbos old turbos 17 t's these are viv i got these from viv uh, about a year or two ago a uh, quick little demonstration here's this one there's that one uh obviously 17 t 19 t you can kind of notice it from the naked eye how bigger this one is just a slight bit bigger um but the thing i really like about these <clears throat> the thing i really noticed about these is that this manifold right here like the runners are a lot more smoother and bigger i think like if you look at right here look how much bigger this one is and how smoother it is especially right here where it kind of just bottlenecks this one right here stays pretty thick all the way down I mean, other than that, it's all basically the same, uh, other than this part. Wastegate, this is the 17T wastegate, 30,000 miles. This is this one. No play, no play, it just moves up and down, no side to side. This one, as you can see, side to side, just a tad, side to side. Um, I'm trying to think of something else to show you guys. There's no play in this. No play whatsoever. This turbo, this turbo was good still. It wasn't leaking at all. It was still solid. No waste gate rattle. Still solid. 30,000 miles. It was the front one. This is for the front. Obviously, it's taken apart. But the front one was the one that was leaking. It would uh, drip down right here through the front of this uh, gray case. I'm not sure what side that's called. But basically it was leaking in here and spinning up into the charge pipe area and dripping dripping from right here basically it was all wet on this uh gray part but anyways <clears throat> so this is the wastegate as you can see no play no play whatsoever there's the bushing in there uh looks like a regular bushing i guess same thing with that one regular bushing um, but I am going to be, obviously I removed these 17 T's. Original plan was to rebuild them. They didn't go according to plan. So we just decided to ship these out. I mean, to, we decided to order these. And here we are. We're going to be installing these up next and here. But I just want to show you guys these turbos. Uh, I got these specifically from, uh, where is the name? Speedy Turbo. That's where I got them from. Um, obviously 19 T's. I'm going to take them apart. See if they have the upgraded internals inside. Because it does say that these are V4. So I'm guessing they have all the stuff in there. Even in the description it said it had upgraded uh, thrust bearing. I don't know what other bearing. And all the upgraded stuff that's supposedly in here. But I have heard some stories of people saying that they say that. But they don't really uh, have that inside. All right, so this uh, V4 uh, turbo is out. Here's a thrust bearing. It does have an oil, extra oil port, port, whatever it's called. But this one is from Turbo Lab America. As you can see, this one's way bigger and then it goes to small. This one's just small and small. I don't know how much that would affect it, to be honest, but at least it has that 
Uh, one thing I did notice is that this one right here is smaller than the one that comes in the Turbo Lab America kit. So this one, I guess we can upgrade in a way. This one I'm not too sure about because it does have two oil ports. But... But like I said, they're a bit off in a way. I'm not too sure how to explain that. Um, but yeah. Uh, good thing is that it does use TDO4 bearing right here in the front. And the rear is actually a TDO4 bearing as well. Pretty thick. And it comes with a staggered piston ring, as you can see. Staggered instead of two. Um, but yet, I guess they still haven't uh, perfected it because although that looks like a oil port, I guess, or I guess this looks kind of like upgraded in a way, I think it should be like that, though. So that's one thing to notice. These V4s are a bit better internally, but this right here is still not perfected this one right here this one is obviously smaller and what else uh, other than that the bearings are good uh, the main issue is these thrust bearings and these uh, washers right here but yeah that's that's what we're looking at right now